Should you invest in Southern Copper? Let's analyze it on growth shares. Before we begin, if you aren't familiar with the factors and metrics I use in this channel, I've made a separate video detailing everything to get you caught up. This analysis is divided into three factors, the business, the stock, and the price. Within each factor are a total of 11 metrics from business growth, performance, to intrinsic value. And because each company belongs to a specific sector of the economy, my analysis normalizes the data so that we can compare companies of different sectors. Each of the three factors and 11 metrics are given a grade from 0 to 99, with 50 to 59 being considered average. When we've got the three factors graded, we combine them to get our final grade. Most companies will fall into that average range, since most companies are indeed average long-term investments. I want to stress that this analysis is meant for long-term investors. I encourage you to pause this video anytime so you can better understand the numbers. Let's look at the company's business. The business factor accounts for 45% of the analysis. The business is the most important part of this analysis. Everything else should be secondary when it comes to investing long-term. The question we want answered is, do we think this is a good business to own? The business is made up of these six metrics, from growth, efficiency, to market dominance. Each are weighted based on importance to the business factor. Here are the six metric grades for the company. And when we put them together, we get the company's business grade. Now you know whether this is a good business to own or not. So let's then look at the stock. The stock is important because we want to know if investors see value in the same business. We still want a return on our investment. The question we want answered is, will the stock grow enough in the future to justify an investment? The stock is made up of these four metrics, from performance to dividends. Each are weighted based on importance to the stock factor. So here are the four metric grades for the company. And when we put them together, we get the company's stock grade. Now that we know the business and the stock, we want to then look at the price. The stock factor accounts for 20% of the analysis. The price is important because it tells us whether the company's stock price is attractive enough for us to buy in. The question we want answered is, what is the most you should pay for the company? The price is made up of only one metric, the intrinsic value, or fair value price of the company's stock. Here's the company's price grade and fair value price per share. Before we calculate our final grade, consider becoming a Growth Shares Patreon member and get access to my spreadsheet with every grade from every company I've analyzed. It's updated all the time. Head to patreon.com forward slash growth shares or click on the link in the description. By combining the business, the stock, and the price, we can get the overall outlook of the company which gives us this final grade and the type of investment it is. This analysis uses public financial data, research, and a proprietary algorithm to come up with the company's grades. But what are your thoughts? Do you agree? Want to talk business? Email me and follow the instructions on the screen. Invest wisely, and as always, take care of your money.